In action for you tonight, thousands of consumers across the country complained their newer model Samsung refrigerators cannot stay cold. And some say they've spent months fighting for repairs or just a refund. I-Team investigator Jackie Calloway found complaints about certain units are behind a class action lawsuit. Yeah, I have some ice packs here. These are like now soft. Prasanna I mean, Akshi uses his broken freezer as a spice rack. So now the top draw, I'm just using it as a storage unit. The family paid over two grand for the unit in 2015. Prasanna said the freezer died this past August. He paid the first repairman $250 for a fix. It started working again. That lasted exactly two days. Then this consumer paid a Samsung repairman over $300, but after several visits that included replacement parts, it sits broken. It still did not cool down. Prasanna belongs to a Facebook page filled with angry consumers. Some of the 80,000 members post pictures and videos of their fridge problems and demand the company recall the appliances for defects and safety reasons. I paid $2,700 total with the warranty and the taxes. Many of those complaining, like Virginia Kirshner, who bought her unit in 2013, say either the ice maker doesn't work and or the unit doesn't stay cold even after multiple attempts at repairs. My Samsung would show 34 degrees on the outside. Inside it was 65. Thousands of consumers across the country have complained to the Better Business Bureau and the Consumer Product Safety Commission. Some reports involve people getting sick from spoiled food. I contacted Samsung for answers. In this email, the company states, our customers are a top priority and we are here to help. Each situation is unique and we stand by the millions of Samsung appliances in use across the country. People are getting sick. Tom O'Shea is a Samsung owner and moderator of that Facebook page. Medicines are going bad, breast milk is going bad, and food is going bad. The company and the Consumer Product Safety Commission have not announced a recall. A spokesperson for the commission said in an email, we cannot discuss if we plan to recall a product or not. We would like to know as a group why our government is not recalling potentially dangerous things that are in our house. Samsung also faces a class action lawsuit alleging the ice makers are defective. It lists more than 20 models. Court documents allege Samsung knew about the defects for years and has taken no action to repair or replace them. In the 74-page response filed with the court, Samsung asserted that none of the plaintiffs ever made a timely warranty claim, much less ever had any such claim denied. How to start the process of getting your money. Tom O'Shea has made YouTube videos to help people get refunds. Samsung confirms it is working with O'Shea to help people who've complained on the Facebook page. We've gotten $7.8 million in refunds, damages, and exchanges. In Virginia's case, she said Samsung did offer a partial refund, and after our contact with the company, they settled Prasanna's claim. If you're having trouble with any appliance, you can report it to the Consumer Product Safety Commission at saferproducts.gov. I'm Jackie Calloway, taking action for you.